All right, well, we, the dragon is three for three in the beat the dragon game, but we'll see what happens in this final game of Tic-Tac-Doe. Who is it, uh, um, Kevin? Well, Rodney, he's a high school public address announcer for Kristen, Brandon Martin. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Ronnie. How are you? Good, good, good. Well, how do you feel about playing against Justin? Yep, I'm ready to go. He's picking up a little steam. Okay, good luck to you. Here are the last nine categories we're going to be doing in this game. Here they are. We have candies, double or nothing, math, musical instruments, fun and games, bonus category, movie quotes, opponent's choice, and what happened first. All right, Justin, which category would you like? Bonus. He's going with the bonus category. Okay, three-part question. Go Answer the th three-part question correctly, Justin. You get another turn immediately, okay? <laughs> Give me the names of the Rice crispy mascots. There are three of them. Give me the names of the three Rice crispy ma mascots for that box in the extra turn. Snap. That is right. Good job. $2,000 is in the pot, and you get another turn for that, Justin. Hey, yeah. All right, now where you want to go? Fun and games is the category. He's going fun and games. Okay, your question on the fun and games. In what sport is a shuttlecock used? Again, in what sport is a shuttlecock used? Is it A, badminton, B, racquetball, C, tennis, or D, squash? Badminton. Badminton is right. You got two boxes quickly. $4,000 is in the pot, and we shuffle. Shut up. Wasn't that question asked before? It probably was, yeah. They don't have too many of those funny game questions um, on that website, but yeah. Go ahead, uh, Brandon. I need a picture first. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he gotta get that picture. That's okay. Let's on the right page. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay, that's weird. And here it comes. She said shuttle cock. <laughs> Kevin Harry Jokesters. Fun games for the block. Funny games for the block. Your question on funny games. <laughs> <laughs> Boardwalk, Marvin Gardens, and Kentucky Avenue are from which game? Is it A. Dominion, B. Monopoly, C. Life, or D. Seven Wonders? Monopoly. Monopoly is right. Good job. We have six thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle it. All right, Justin. Bonus. He's going with the bonus again. Okay, three-part question. Answer the three-part question correctly. You get another turn immediately. Here it is. I need the names of three of the big three U.S. automakers for that box in the extra turn. I need the big three automakers for that box in the, in the extra turn in the U.S. Go ahead. Ford. Yes. Chevrolet. No, that's wrong. I'm sorry. That's wrong. Oh. No. The answer was Ford, GM, and Chrysler. Chrysler. Okay. Chevrolet is not a bad guess. Six thousand is in the pot. We shuffle it. Chevrolet is a subsidiary of GM. Right. True. All right, Brandon Martin. As soon as the that pops up. On the way, man. I'm working overtime tonight. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. You are. Yeah, you are, Kevin. Working, working me hard. I said hard. Work, 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 work. Cause you ain't gonna work, 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 work. work. Well, let's go ahead and do movie quotes. Going with movie quotes, okay? It'd be a two-part. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, 
It's going to be a two-part question worth $3,000, uh, Brandon, and you'll get the extra time on that, okay? Okay. Here's the first movie quote. These prison walls are funny. First, you hate them, then you get used to them. Name this film that this quote came from. Is it A, Birdman of, Alcat Birdman of Alcatraz, B, The Shawshank Redemption, C, Escape from Alcatraz, or D, The Last Castle? That's the first one. And the second one, I'm not the Messiah. Will you please listen? I'm not the Messiah. Do you understand? Honestly, comes from which Monty Python film? Is it A, Life of Brian? B, Meaning of Life, C, C, Live at the Hollywood Bowl, or D, The Holy Grail? Here's your time to think about it. Which part do you want to answer first? Let's go ahead and do the first one, please. Okay, these prison walls are funny. First you hate them, then you get used to them. Name the film. Is it A, Birdman of Alcatraz, B, The Shawshank Redemption, C, Escape from Alcatraz, or D, The Last Castle? I'm going to say B. The Shawshank Redemption? Yep. That is the right answer. And for the center box, I'm not the Messiah. Will you please listen? I'm not the Messiah. Do you understand? Honestly, comes from which... Monty Python film. Is it A, Life of Brian? B, Meaning of Life? C, Live at the Hollywood Bowl? Or D, The Holy Grail? The Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is wrong. I'm sorry. Oh. The answer is The Life of Brian. The Life of Brian. All right, 6,000 is in the pot. We shuffle it. Redemption is an awesome movie. Yeah. <laughs> Justin. He's going with the bonus category again. Again, three-part question. Answer, answer that three-part question correctly. You get another turn immediately. Here it is. In terms of land area, what are the three largest countries bordering China to the north? Russia? Yes. Uh, Japan? Japan is wrong. I'm sorry. Japan is wrong. I'll give you the other two. It's Mongolia and, Kaz and Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, okay? All right. Uh, we shuffle. And once um, he's ready. what happened first. Go, well, what happened first? Okay. In this category, what happened first? I'm going to read you some historical information. You have to tell me of the four events, which happened first, okay? Okay. This is uh, about historic events. Which of these events happened first? Is it A, the Eiffel Tower completed? B, the Dreyfus Affair? C, X-rays discovered? Or D, New Zealand women voted? Take a guess and say A, and it would be a, a final answer for myself. You say A, the Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower completed? Yes. It was completed on March 31st, 1889. You're correct. Good job. Good job, man. All right. Nicely done. $8,000 is in the pot, and we shuffle it. I didn't know we were playing millionaire. All right, Justin. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a two part question. Uh, and you'll get the extra time on that, okay? Here we go. Right. First, the saxophone is a member of which family of instruments? Is it A, brass, B, woodwind, C, drums, or D, strings? That's the first one. And the second one, which of these instruments is placed in a player's mouth? Is it A, the dow, B, the viola, C, the jew's harp, or D, the bass? Here's the time to think about it.
Which part you want to answer first, uh, Justin? The first one. The saxophone is a member of which family of instruments? Is it A, brass, B, woodwind, C, drums, or D, strings? What's your answer? Woodwind. Woodwind is right. Woodwind. And, and for the center box, which of these instruments is placed in the player's mouth? Is it A, the Dow, B, the viola, C, the Jew's, the Jew's, the Jew's harp, or D, the bass? Option A. The Dow is wrong. The Dow is wrong. It's the Jew's harp. It's the Jew's harp, okay? We shuffle. Okay, and once. I think I think this particular category, AJ, I mean Brandon, should get. We'll see. One moment. All right. All right. Bacon sharing. Here it comes. Candies for the win. Now you get this question right on candies, it'll be tic tac doe, eleven thousand dollars, and you'll be the champion, okay? All right. We have a two part question. Here it is. First, which of these candies is not made by the Nico company? Is it A, Bit O Honey, B, Mary Jane, C, Sky Blossoms, or D, Sky Bar? That's the first one. And the second one, which candy maker is considered to be the oldest? Operating candy manufacturer in America is it A Candy Dynamics, B Hershey, C Nico, or D Nestle? Here's your time to Neko think about it. How I say it again? Neko. Ne Neko. Neko. Thank you. Neko. Here is the extra time to think about it. All right, Brandon, which part you want to answer first? I'm going to do the second part, please. Going with the second part first. Which candy maker is considered to be the oldest operating candy manufacturer in America? Is it A, Candy Dynamics, B, Hershey, C, Necco, or D, Nestle? I'm going to say B, Hershey. Hershey is wrong. It's wrong. Oh. It was Necco. Necco. And okay. the other one, which of these candies is not made by the Neko Company, is Bit of Honey. Bit of Honey. Justin has been saved, and we shuffle. This is going to be a while. Yep, okay. Justin. Candy. Okay, two-part question again in candy for the block, and you'll get the extra time on this one. Here it is. First, and I dropped the question on the floor. Pick it up. Here it is. First, which candy, which candy was the first one to be individually wrapped? Which candy was the first one to be individually wrapped? Is it A. Al Sorts, B. Jolly Rancher, C. Tuxie Wo Tuxie Row, or D. Werther's? That's the first one. And the second one, in 1954, the first peanut M and M's were created. What color were they? Is it A, green, B, red, C, tan, or D, yellow? Here's the time to think about it. All right, Justin, which part do you want to answer first? The second one. The second one. In 1954, the first peanut M&Ms were created. What color were they? Is it A, green, B, red, C tan or D yellow? Yellow? Yellow is wrong. Yellow is wrong. Oh. They were tan. They were tan. And the other one, which candy was the first one to be individually wrapped? It was Tissy Row. Tissy Row. Okay, we still have 8,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Oh, the things you learn on this show. Mm hmm. All right, uh, <laughs> where to? I Let's go try again. Candies for the win. Third time in the category, center box. Two-part question. Answer the two-part question correctly in candies. You'll have tic-tac-doe and $11,000. Here's 
the two-part question. Which candy features messages like be mine and kiss me imprinted on them? Is it A, buttons, B, pears, C, rock, or D, sweethearts? That's the first one. And the second one, we have a repeat on this one, so I'm going to throw that one out. We'll get another one. Here it is. Which candy maker coined the term lollipop? Which candy maker coined the term, lolly, term lollipop? Is it A, Bill, Herm, Bill Harmson, C, George Smith, C, Hans Rigo, or D, John Hershey? Here's your time to think about it. All right, Brandon, which part you want to answer first? This time we're going to do the first one, please. Which candy features messages like be mine and kiss me and print it on them? Is it A, buttons, B, pears, C, rock, or D, sweethearts? Sweetheart. That is right. And for the center box, Tic Tac Deal and $11,000, here it is. Which candy maker coined the term lollipop? Is it A, Bill Harmson, B, George Smith, C, Hans Rejo, or D, John Hershey? Well, I'm going to take a guess. An instinct can say, a B, with final answer, please. What's your answer? B. George Smith? George Smith? Yes. Tic Tac Do! Wow. Y'all was going to stick with that candy category in the center box until y'all got it, it seemed like. But you pulled it off. $11,000 is you win, Brandon, and you're going to go ahead against that dragon shortly. Well, Justin, well, you won those two games and $23,000, and our congratulations, Justin, okay? All right. Good job, back. All right. Well, uh, it's time to play the Beat the Dragon game. Now, I will warn you, uh, Brandon, you see that the Dragon has won three games in a row. Don't be ashamed to take the money and walk away if you feel that Dragon is coming, okay? Okay, let's beat that Dragon. Here we go, let's beat that Dragon. Yes, win that jackpot, boy. Yes, I will. Here we go. So that ja Dragon has been on a roll today. All right, we have those nine numbers, and let's... Reveal the board, and Justin, what prizes is he in for? Here are the prizes. It's an hour with 34 inch my speed TV. Touch the Portugal. Retro Cup Sleep Set. Hulking Trailer. It's an hour with TV. Retro Cup Sleep Set. Prices are 39188 Thank you uh, very much, Justin. Now, if you manage to get the tick, and tackle any of your picks, it will be a $40,000 bonus. Do it on your first two picks. We'll double that bonus to $80,000 and you'll have a shot and a new car, uh, Brandon, okay? Okay. Here we go, let's cover up that board. And go ahead and start picking. Let's go right in on number five. Let's see what's in number five. Wow, there's the tag now. If you find the tick, we'll not give you a $40,000 bonus. We'll be at $80,000 bonus, and we'll donate $8 to Cancer Research. And you must go on. What do you think tick is? I'm going to say the tick would be number nine. Drum roll. For $80,000. It's tick behind number nine. No, it's twenty five hundred dollars. That means you're still eligible for forty thousand dollars and five dollars to cash the research. Stop or go? Let's go and go with number seven, please. Number seven, okay. If you if Tick is buying number seven, you get a forty thousand dollar bonus. Let's see what's buying seven. Four thousand dollars. You have sixty five hundred dollars. Stop or go? Let's go and go again. What's your number again? Three. He's going with three. If Tick is buying number three, it'll be a forty thousand dollar bonus. But if it's uh, thirty five hundred, you just get the prize package. Let's see what's buying number three. Fifteen hundred dollars. You have 
$8,000. Stop or go. I'm going and go for number one. Going for number one. $2,000 will do the trick, but if tickets back there, you have a $40,000 bonus. Let's see. No! Clean sweep for the dragon today. I told y'all y'all could take the money and walk away. I'm sorry. But $11,000 to you. Let's see what that tick was. Maybe number six? Let's Maybe. see. It was a number six. Okay. So that means that the drag pot will go up to $45,000 or $90,000. It happened on the first pick. Dragon has won all the games today. I'm sorry about that. Well, guys, this is Rodney1279 signing off. Saying be safe, be careful, and if you want to join the YouTube Games and Entertainment Group, let me know in the comments below, and we'll be glad to have you with us. Before right now, this is Rodney1279 signing off, saying be safe, be careful, take care everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. Hey, the dragon definitely won this episode. Now I have to go and uh, do that shoveling. Here we go. Okay, I gotta go out there and shovel, so I will talk to you guys later. I'll talk to you later, honey.